say Peugeot and one can expect a car with flair and design that only the French can deliver. The automaker's latest car, the 308, has arrived in Philippine shores. This award-winning compact is set to do battle in the segment. And to see what makes this humble hatchback different from the rest, we take it on a drive that brings us to the south of the metro, to Tagaytay and Lipapatangas. With its French roots and stylish design, it could be said that the Peugeot 308 is a hatchback for those who think differently. From its exterior's defined proportions to its minimalist interior, one look at the 308 and you won't mistake it for anything else. Unlike many cars in its segment, the Peugeot 308 has the novelty of being available with a wagon, a rare option in this class. Stepping inside, the 308 rids itself of the usual buttons on the center console. Instead, you are greeted by a large center console that handles not just the entertainment system, but the vehicle settings and air conditioning as well. It also features Peugeot's iCockpit, which moves the instrument cluster up for a better view of the dials. Overall, the effect is clean and simple and rather stylish. Setting off, the Peugeot 308 was a dependable highway companion. Thanks to its 1.6-liter turbocharged gas engine or 1.6-liter turbo diesel, it cruised along slacks with ease and the engines provided great overtaking confidence. Being a European car, road noise was well suppressed, making this car a viable long-distance cruiser. When we exited the highway, the roads got twistier and we got the chance to experience the 308's driving dynamics. Again, the combination of its engine and suspension was no match for Tagaytay's back roads and little did we know, we were at our first stop in Domain. Uh, the Peugeot 308 is, uh, was designed to, be, to soak up the cobbled stones of uh, Paris. And not just that, uh, it can also traverse the, the Autobahn in Europe. And we believe that this snapshot of a uh, mixture of rough road, a highway as well as uh, hilly roads, will help the media uh, feel and experience what the Peugeot 3 is all about. It's all about igniting the senses. That's our marketing word to it. But truly, when you get into the car, very comfortable, uh, very uh, the handling is very, very uh, sharp. Uh, it's very dynamic. Uh, you can basically take it through any curves, um, any, any height, and it'll be able to deliver. Well, the Peugeot 300 series has been uh, available in Europe for several decades, and it has been our backbone uh, from the uh, Peugeot automobiles. Through the years, uh, the, this is our hero car and this is supposed to represent uh, who we are. Uh, it has a lot of heritage. This uh, specific uh, model of the 308 now won the 2014 uh, European Car of the Year, both the hatch and the station wagon body styles. Um, and at the same time, it provides uh, Filipino consumers the latest in engine design. Um, we have the award-winning 1.6 uh, turbo horsepower. Uh, petrol engine and we also have the first Euro 6 diesel engine that's introduced in the station wagon and the top of GT line models. Those three things uh, is embodied in the uh, 308 model. From uh, the 300 series way back in the 1920s all the way to today, we've always been true to that heritage. With our bellies full, we then headed to Crosswinds to take photos of the 308 and 308 wagon. There, the distinct lines of Peugeot's latest cars were complemented by the scenery and made us further appreciate its design. At the same time, the steep inclines of crosswinds were easily overcome by the 308's engine. Driving downhill, it felt safe, secure, and even dynamic as we took on winding roads. Uh, the Peugeot 308, uh, the way it's designed, it's meant to focus and ignite the senses. Um, if you take a look at the car, uh, the car allows the driver to just focus on driving because every, there's not a lot of distractions. So what we're gonna do, 
uh, for this particular exercise is that we're going to have uh, blind tasting. Uh, whenever we eat, and especially to the French people, eating in uh, the culinary arts is a very important aspect of life. So here we're going to do blind tasting. We wouldn't be able to see um, what is in front of uh, us and we will just make use of our nose, our sense of smell, and our sense of taste uh, to try and guess uh, what we are eating. We will only be given a description of what it is, smoky, uh, hot and spicy, and then we will be writing uh, and guessing what it is. Again, relating into the Peugeot 308, we are only focused on getting some of the senses uh, ignited and uh, be made alive. After that, we drove on even more challenging roads as we were accompanied by the scenic views of the south. We made our way to our final stop in Batangas at Café de Lipa. This gave us the chance to assess our thoughts on the 308 and at the same time, enjoy the self-made Baraco brews of this wonderful diner. We all shared our experiences as we had a sample of one of France's finest pieces of engineering for a day. Um, I'd like to invite all of the viewers um, of uh, Sunshine TV uh, to visit our showrooms. We have nine nationwide covering uh, all the three major islands. We have one in Lipa, we have one in Alabang, Edsa Green Hills, Quezon Avenue, Pasig, Nueva Ecija, Cebu, Bacolod, and Cagayan de Oro. The all-new Peugeot 308 is available uh, in all of our dealerships. Please do check them out. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you will enjoy igniting your senses. Thank you. So, did Peugeot prove a point with their 308? After a day of testing, it would be a resounding yes. This unique hatchback offers something new to the segment as it dares to be different. Not only does it prove capable on local provincial roads, it also gives the Filipino people a taste of Europe. The Peugeot 308 is unconventional in some ways, but it is proud to be unique. If you're the type of person who isn't scared of showing off that they're different, the Peugeot 308 is a car that reflects that way of thinking and does it with flair.